monthly economic report. So let's talk about the February 2024 monthly economic report in uh, in EVE. Uh, if you guys don't know what this is, uh, this comes out once a month. CCP gives us this report. It's kind of like they provide us with the data anyway, but in this case, they actually you know fill it with nice graphs, a little bit of interpretation, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So it's nice to have this 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 report ready every month. Now I'm. It's going to be a little bit short this month because not that much happened. Plus, there's a massive mistake in here already on day one. So you can see here that it looks like mining went through the roof. But this is not what happened. Okay. Um, it also looks like here, like NullSec mining went through the roof. And this is also not what happened. So we have to look at these, this data with a little bit of a grain of salt because the the problem with the ccp data here is that they um uh, most likely what happened and i i talked to ccp about this and they con they confirmed that this is probably a mistake uh, but they haven't gotten back to me with what the exact mistake was they use ore pricing for for this stuff and uh and they use market uh they use you know base pricing when when market volume is lacking but when or prices are messed with, uh, you know, bottom line is ore prices are a terrible thing to do. You have to use minerals, not ore prices. But if you do use ore prices, you're going to be susceptible to market manipulation in certain regions. And so what this is right here is not more volume mined, as we will see on the next graphs, but this is just a somebody messing with ore pricing and CCP just using an, an ore price where they should have used a base price. And that's why this is not a very good indicator and they have to fix this next month or this graph is going to be messed up forever. So don't believe in this. This is this is not true. Um, uh, what we can look at is the destruction numbers, which are you know down slightly and the um, production numbers that are also down down slightly. Although what we're seeing is very, very high production numbers still. So uh, last month was a five year high in production numbers and uh you know this month is still a very very high i mean this month production is still higher than uh you know pre-2020 so uh still very 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 good numbers and we can see that in the the market as well because there's a lot of demand for for raw materials now if we um move on to the the next graph you can you can see here by the way you know this this right here uh, shows you that asteroid ore volume mined over time did not go up, right? And that's that's you can immediately see that this is not this is not what's happening. It's it's not it's not that you know there's there's crazy mining going through the through the roof. Mining is actually quite steady this month. Um, nothing to write home about, and so it's uh, it's a valuation issue. And CCP, are, they're going to fix it. I already talked to them. Uh, there's going to be long-term fixes to that anyway, to the way that that graphs is going to be dis displayed. They just haven't uh, decided on how exactly they're going to display it. If you want to see some of the ideas that are out there, you can look at the last month uh, MER stream that I did live from CCP headquarters with uh, CCP Estimate. There, he talked a little bit about uh, the direction that they're they're thinking that they will they will take. Let's look at my favorite graph, the uh, sinks and faucets. And overall, um, you can see that we ended up with less ISK in game compared to the beginning of the month, which, which means we have a, a drop in money supply, which is quite rare. We don't usually have that. Um, this is not because there's a big change to faucets or sinks. It's more that we continue to see a very big active uh, ISK delta, a negative act active ISK delta. That means a lot of people are becoming an active, right? Now, player numbers are still high. If we look at player numbers right here, um, they are high, but the player numbers are lower than they were at the end of last year. And so while we saw a lot of players returning for the Alliance tournament, we saw a lot of people returning for the Havoc expansion. Uh, we are seeing some of them leave now, and that's um, uh, you know and that's to be expected after an expansion. Some people will stick around, others won't. And so now we have a negative active is delta, which means we have less active ISK in the system. 
I can show you guys in, in, in Power BI. Sorry for blinding uh, some of you basement nerds. Um, I sh should have reloaded this before. So we'll wait. We'll wait for that to load in the background. While we wait for that, let's look at the faucets over time. So you can see that uh, we continue to see very, very high uh, sleeper components here. So blue loot. Um, overseer personal effects, they spike with events. Um, so, you know, this is... Uh, Nothing unusual. Treglavian data is from abyssal uh, pockets, uh, you know, up a little bit over the last few months, but really overall unchanged. And everything else is just um, just very tiny. Uh, let's go to the Power BI, and I can show you guys. So this is the active ISK delta. So on this graph, you can see whether you can see whether uh, people are returning to the game or leaving the game. So the green bars are more more people returning to the game and the red bars are more people leaving the game however this is skewed a little bit by uh, bot bans so when there's bots being banned that is also leaves the the money supply and so this is always more red than green because every month uh, bots are being banned and their isk is being uh, frozen so that's that's always the case right so the real number is a little bit more skewed towards the middle uh, in terms of uh, ISK uh, faucets, you can see that ISK faucets have been going up over time, uh, and the last five months have been fairly steady. But you know, a lot of that is Pochven, lots of ISK being generated in Pochven and C5, C6 wormholes, lots of ISK generated there. You have to sync that somewhere, right? And so, if you're complaining about industry industry taxes going up. At the same time, you have to ask yourself, well, you know, what's your opinion on C5, C6 wormholes? What's your opinion on Pochven? Uh, what's your opinion on some of the other large uh, ISK faucets like the Christmas event, for example? If you want to keep all those faucets, then you need to have things on the other side or we're going, we're going to have rampant inflation and de devaluation of the uh, in-game currency, which you have in other MMOs like, like WoW or something, right? So... Uh, so far, um, CCP has been much better than these other games in keeping the currency at a good value. And that's a good thing for, for the in-game economy, right? Now, uh, let's go back to the, uh, to the MER. And the gra next graph we want to look at is this one right here, faucets over time. So bounties continue to be rather high. That's um, that is uh, that is ratting. So lots of lots of people ratting. That's probably after the uh, the end of the last uh, war in the north. We we see people returning there. Um, Sancho incursions a little bit uh, lower. Uh, overall transaction tax is is lower as well. So this is, this is zero. So these are the faucets, and so you know less trade going on. All right. Um, and. This is the view on the money supply. So, you know, expansions, people coming back means a higher money supply. The last three months have been uh, managed quite well in terms of uh, the overall money supply, but that's, you know, people going back into inactivity. Um, in terms of velocity of ISK, if you look at it without contracts and Plex, we've been fairly steady for, you know, a couple of years. Um, you know, it used to be higher just because people were doing more, they were trading more, and now we're in a situation where uh, people are holding on to ISK much more than uh, uh, than they're trading. There's just less things to to spend it on, uh, less less trade, le less official trade going on, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, um, you know, overall, this is this is not a good sign, but it's it's not the end of the world either. One good thing about a lower ISK velocity is that the risk of inflation is is much much lower uh, in in this case. Right? I've uh, talked about that a lot in the last few months on these these shows, so I'm not going to go back into that. Um, minerals are still very 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 expensive. A big part of that is is isogen and and megasite. Um, it's we're still at you know an, an index mi mineral index of 260. That's still very 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 high. Uh, isogen is slowly coming down, but not quickly enough. Um, these um, 
the CPI you can ignore because it includes some some bogus stuff. We've also talked about that uh, uh, a bunch of bunch of times. And the primary producer index and the secondary producer index are going up because raw materials are going up. All right. Um, yeah, basically the same thing. And then we just want to look at, oh, this is a new graph. Uh, this is a ship and module price index since 2018. So how has how have ship prices changed? Now, uh, remember, this is a basket of ships, right? So uh, we don't know if they normalize this for for value. Right and for for trade val val value, I mean, I, for me, it's always uh, more interesting if you normalize this by the amount of uh, amount of trade that goes on for a specific ship, so that more popular ships are rated higher. I don't know what um, what they use for for this, but according to this, modules have increased twenty percent since twenty eighteen, and ship prices have increased fifteen percent. Certainly, if you look at capital ships, for example, it's much more than fifteen percent. But yeah, um, some other ships are are cheaper. So we don't, you know, I don't know. I, I need to find out the the details behind it. And last but not least, blue loot again. We're almost twenty trillion out of C five C six wormholes, and that's that's just uh, a lot, a lot. Okay. That's it for the MER. We're going to go to the discussion and uh, see you guys next week.